Hello guys and welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna create our own main menu, but not like the others, static main menu. We're gonna have a little bit of animations as well. So let's start. We're gonna create new level. We're gonna call it main menu. And I can actually put it into the maps. Also we're gonna create new folder for our UI. And inside of UI we are going to create user interface, widget blueprint and we are going to call it main menu. So we can go inside of our blueprint and now we can pull first thing to do, we need to pull canvas panel. Because in new Unreal Engine 5 uh, uh, versions you don't have canvas panel automatically so you need to pull it out. And inside of it, we're gonna put our text for our game name. We'll size it to context, anchor it there. And we're gonna put 100 on Y. And I'm gonna name it Horror Game. You can put a game. You can put whatever you want here, whatever your name is, whatever you want for your game to be. And we're gonna put alignment to the Y 0.5 and here as well 0.5 and now we have the name that's perfect we can change color what we want we can name it like this perfect so now I will pull vertical box for our buttons so I will add it and I'm gonna anchor it to the left mid corner but of course you can do whatever you want with it and I'm just gonna size it like that. Oh. I'm gonna put it like, oh, sorry. I'm gonna put it like minus 320, I guess. We can do whatever we want here. It's up to you. So we're gonna add button. And on the button, we're gonna add text. And now we're gonna select this button and we're just gonna copy paste it. And I'm gonna create buttons so they fill both. And I'm gonna add spacer so it looks a little bit nicer. Between them like this. And I'm gonna add padding from the bottom to like 50. And adding from padding from the top 50. Actually we can make it even more. So we can make it a um, little bit nicer, so it's not this big. But for now we can just use it like this. And the first one is gonna be called play. And the second one is gonna be called quit. And for the sake of the tutorials, actually we can go ahead and make a new button which we're gonna call credits. So if you use some uh, things from Marketplace, if you use some things from Sketchfab and uh, similar pages, you need to put credits. So we can do it like this. I really like this. So now we're gonna go to the play button and we're gonna select on clicked. So when we click play, we want to open our level. So depending how what's your level name of course you need to put the exact name and it needs to be exact so capitalization is also important so we are gonna go to maps and my name of the map is third person map so we need to copy it like this so third person map Watch out for capitals, it needs to be exact same. And then we're gonna go back to designer, quit, unclicked, we're just gonna call quit game. And this should work perfectly. We're gonna open the main menu. Okay. So now we want to create a new um, game mode for our main menu so it doesn't. Um, 
it doesn't combine with your usual game game mode so we're just gonna call it uh, main menu and inside of it we're gonna create game mode base and we're gonna call it GM main menu also we're gonna create controller player controller and we're gonna call it PC main menu okay so now we will open the GM main menu we will put player controller as our PC main menu and our default pawn class as none perfect now we can compile save we will also go to the main menu level oh so it was in the third person maps main menu and we can open world settings if you don't have them you can go here under window and open world settings game mode override we will put it as a gm main menu so it uses our player controller of the pc main menu now inside of the pc main menu what we want to do is we go to the main menu pc main menu we want to open the event graph and first thing that we want to do is set show mouse cursor oh yes show mouse cursor sorry and after that we want to out of our begin play we can delete this out of our begin play we can create a widget and the widget is gonna be our main menu and uh after that we will add it to viewport and also we are gonna set input UI on so we can only do UI and uh, our widget focus is gonna be this and the player controller is gonna be self so with that being said if we compile it and save if we pl press play now we have our main menu but this main menu doesn't look really good it's just ui so i want to add some animations into it and if we click play it works okay so now after that we want to go to the main menu level and i will go to the mixamo i found some good animations that i want i will go to the character download the character And then I will put idle zombie, let's say. And I really like this animation. And I'm gonna select without skin, 60 frames, and download. Now that we did it, we will go to the main menu. And I will, I will add it zombie. I'm gonna drag my download. here and I'm gonna let th let them create let him create his own skeleton import all you can ignore this and I will create folder for anim animations so now I'm gonna import animation that we downloaded and I'm gonna put on his clock uh, skeleton so now we have the skeleton i mean we have animation sorry and now we will put some light so we can see him and what i want to do is put camera as well we're gonna select camera after and now we can pull the camera to see how we like it so we have our UI here if you remember so we need to put the guy a little bit more in the right our intensity of the light is a little bit high I would say so we're gonna go to details and make it a little bit like this and what I also want to do is turn off the exposure 
I will create a bound, infinite, and I will select exposure and put it to 1. So you, you can see our character looks a little bit more spooky, like that. So now, if we press play, oh sorry, we forgot to do something. So inside of our main menu, we want to, sorry, we want to to open the level blueprint and on the begin play, set view target, well, okay. We want to get player controller and then we want to set view target with blend. We'll plug it to the begin play, we can delete this. And for the camera, we'll go to the main menu. We're gonna select camera, make sure you have selected it. And we're gonna create right click, create reference to the camera and pull it in. Blend time will be zero and it should work perfectly. So now if you play, press play, we have cute little animation. And with that being said, we can do a little bit more changes to our main menu because I don't really like it being next to the ending. So I'm just gonna pull it like this and make it like this. So now if we open our main menu, we have our main menu. Credits, I'm gonna do this in the different episode because we don't have time. This video is getting long. So if we pr press play, we're gonna open our level. And if we, if we press quit, we're gonna close the level. So now, if you realized, if we open our main menu, let's go to the main menu. If we press play, we're still gonna have mouse cursor. So how do we fix this? Is simply, we go to the third person map, we open the level blueprint, we set input game only, and from the game only, we pull get player controller and we set show mouse we need to tick context sensitive set show mouse cursor and we put it to off and we connect it to the player controller and now when we compile we go to our main menu press play we have our main menu we have animation and if you press play we don't have cursor anymore so that's perfect working and uh, in the next episode i'm gonna show you how to create a credits screen and maybe we will go over the options in the future as well but for now this is all uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if i helped you and see you in the next one bye